Hey guys, it's Roz. I went shopping last night. I went to REI and I went to the military surplus store. So I want to show you guys what I got. The reason I went to the surplus store is because I lost my bandana this week. It was very, very humid while I was hiking. So I was using it like as a sweat rag, I guess. And we stopped for a water break and I lost it. And it's on a, a trail I don't normally go on. I, I meant to go on it today to go see if I could find it. Um, but we went on a different trail today. and I'll tell you a funny story about that. But I love this. This is beautiful. This is camo. It's like royal blue and black and white and gray. Anyway, okay, so that's why I went to the military surplus store. But you know, once you're there, you can't just buy one thing, right? Look what I got. I got MREs. I mean, you know, if you're a civilian and you've never been in the military, you're like, what up with these things? Okay, it's got like all the stuff in it, all the crackers and coffee and food and and the, the heating pack and all this stuff. So I got um, vegetable lasagna, and I thought it would be funny if my daughter did this video. So you've seen, sometimes she just, she watches me do the videos, but sometimes she can't help herself and she just jumps in. And I, I often will cut her out and not use the video that she's in, but as you saw the one this week, I let her stay. Sometimes she actually has some value to the video. So I'm gonna give it, I'll be like, hey babe, Dinner served, <laughs> make, her, make her cook us some dinner. Um, so I'll probably, I imagine this being done in a two part video where um, we would unpackage it and then the next video we would cook it up and eat it, okay? All right, so that's the military, the surplus store. The reason I went to REI specifically was to get a Sam Splint. We're going hiking this summer and, it, and we're gonna be up above tree line like for a couple days and we're pretty far from civilization and it's very bouldery, rocky terrain. And I just want this. I want this in my first aid kit. I had to think, and I'm really going to keep my pack to a minimum. I'm really going through the essentials. I'm cutting through things. I know this is large. It's very lightweight though. Um, it it un unfurls to a 36 inch splint for, and, and what I'm envisioning is ankles. What's going to happen to us up there? Sprained ankles, sunburn, bug bites, and uh, I can't think of the other one. <laughs> what was the other one? Blisters. Those are the things. So I want to really make sure my first aid kit is supplied. So that's the Sam Splint. And I've never had moleskin in my first aid kit before. And I just thought it was time to get a few pieces of it. So I bought this Blister Medic stuff. And look, this is like the best name for a product I've ever heard. Glacier Gel. It's like, it doesn't look good, it's like, and it's blue, and um, actually I need my glasses. Um, it's blue and it just looks like it's cooling, it'll make your, your tootsies, your boo-boos feel better. Um, so there's two pieces of Glacier Gel that come in this thing, or at least two, there's, it's a 24 piece kit here. But there's Glacier Gel and different size moleskin patches for blisters and some instructions. Also what I got is sunscreen. Um, if you're up above tree line, you're gonna get burned. And actually just, it's summertime. Every time we hike, I, I get some burn. I'm pretty fair skinned, so we need that. And also I'm like, wow, that's kind of big. But I think by the time we, we get on our big trip, this will be half empty. And this, yeah, bug spray. I mean, it's so weird. I never know what kind of bug spray to get. I hate putting bug spray on me. I think it's gross. And I certainly don't want to do it to my kid either. But this is an herbal armor insect repellent, natural. And I was cracking up, it says, awarded best gear. Who awarded it best gear? Like the guy's mother? Oh, honey, this is like the best gear. I'm giving you an award for the best gear. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they can put anything they want on the label. So this has mostly, um, where are the ingredients? Here they are. Uh, soybeans, citronella, peppermint, cedar, lemongrass, and geranium. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Uh-oh. Okay, and then I just got some fresh bath wipes because uh, you want to stay fresh on the trail if you're out there for a couple days without a shower. <laughs> um, it also has aloe vera in it, so it could be a treatment for sunburn. This is the prevention. Maybe you have a little treatment. I may have to get a little tube of aloe or something. Really, just like a buy. I don't even know why I bought it. I, I, because I guess I was thinking about my first aid kit. This was at the military surplus store. Dressing, first aid, field, camouflaged. Haven't you guys seen like these things? If you're a civilian, again, you, you military guys are like, oh my God, I have I had thousands of those things. I'm gonna open this. I've been dying to open it. So I was waiting for you guys to open it. All right, let's open it. I'm gonna go down. Let's go down. No, don't fall down. 
Okay. All right. What is in this thing? Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's like a, like a almost a wax paper. Grasp with both hands and firmly twist before unwrapping. Grasp with both hands and firmly twist. Don't touch face of pad to wound. Oh, I don't even know what this is. It cost 50 cents, so I'm not like too upset that I opened it. I don't know what that means. Grasp with both hands and firmly twist before unwrapping. Oh. Oh, because they don't want you to touch it. Okay, it's a gauze, gauze pen. Oof. I don't know. We think. Ooh, do, 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 do. What is this? Oh, look at that. I don't. I don't know how to use it. I gotta get one of my my viewers, one of my fire medic viewers, to tell me what this is. Obviously, I have just killed the sterility of it, which. someone had a gunshot wound, I think I might know what the hell to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would stick that on them, and then I would wrap this around. Check it out. I guess I did figure out what it's for. All right, but yeah, there, a couple of my viewers are EMTs. Um, I think his name is Fire Medic. He was trying to get a, a channel started to kind of share this kind of information, but I'll go check them out. All right, that's what that thing is. All right, well, it's dead now. I'll throw it out, but um, okie dokie. Well, that's kind of a small package to if for like a major wound, and it already has a built-in like you know bandage to wrap it. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you for bearing with me on that. Okay, it's just real quick because I gotta go catch that text message. But the funny story is, last night I'm in REI. I'm picking out the Sam splint. There's the 36 incher, and then they also sell finger splints. They're like this big, right? Um, and I was like, well, I don't need a finger splint because I've seen that you can cut this. So if you're out. Hiking and someone breaks a finger, you can you can cut this and use a piece of this as a splint. Well, if you notice, my middle finger is swollen because I just came back from a hike with my dog. She's kind of a pain to hike with lately, but we went out about a mile and then we sat down. I just sat right like next to a log and had some water. Okay, so I'm telling you, my center of gravity was low. I mean, my butt was on the ground, my knees were up. So I mean, I was in no position to like get up at the minute, right? All of a sudden, the dog starts freaking out, and I'm looking like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I had her leash kind of wrapped around the log a little bit. There was a mouse. Now, I'm kind of tough, you know. I, I'm not scared of a lot of things, but I'll tell you, if I see a mouse, I run like a girl and I scream. I cannot stay. I mean, I think they're adorable. They're really kind of cute, but there's just something about them that wigs my shit out. I don't mind snakes, and I've seen bears, and... You know, mice, forget about it. Forget it. So anyway, she, the dog's trying to chase the mouse. I am like planted on the ground. She starts running and, and I, you know, my Twitter friends know that last week she took off in the woods, like took off. She was off leash and she took off. Um, there was no way, and I was on a, tra a trail that I've not been on before and there was no way I was going to lose this dog here. So I'm like running, you know, like pretend this is the leash. I'm like, my fingertips are trying to grab the leash, you know. Here you go, like this. And I finally, I guess, got my fingers around the loop of the leash. And I went flying in the air, landed on my stomach like a wide receiver, and got dragged through the woods because my fingers did hook onto the leash. You know, probably just like a foot or two or maybe three feet I got dragged on my stomach because the dog is chasing a mouse. But, um... I didn't know till I finally like made my eyes come up and look that I was successful. Like my fingers had grabbed the leash, the dog was still on the end of the leash, and I was holding on to her. There's no way, no way I was letting her get loose. Um, anyway, immediately I was like, I broke my finger. I really thought I broke my finger, but my middle finger's kind of swollen. Actually, you know what? I should take this off. That's like the number one first aid is if someone messes with, gets a messed up hand, like get the rings off. Get the rings off, or you'll end up cutting them off. Um, anyway, so I was laughing because I had, well, I didn't have my Sam splint with me, but I was looking at the finger splints last night. I just thought it was ironic. Did you think that story was ex as exciting as I thought it was? All right, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you this stuff, and the MREs is hilarious. Um, 
Actually, I have a nephew that shipped out to Afghanistan um, this week. So we, we wish him Godspeed. Please come home. Um, I have full respect for him. I hope he's eating well. I hope he's getting all the nourishment and everything everything he needs to, to thrive and survive. All right, guys. Um, that's it. I, I hope to do a lot more videos. I actually couldn't find my camera today. <laughs> it fallen behind a book. It's kind of that small. Like I couldn't find it. All right. Peace out. See you guys later.